love you, Mother Khadija. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And when we say Allahu Akbar, that means that God is the greatest. And it's appropriate that we go into the next part of our program. The success of family, community, and nation rests in the success of marriages where the man and woman are rooted in God. Our next presentation will be on the training unit, how to take care of their husbands. Please receive a sister who in just a few weeks will receive her doctorate degree in physical therapy. But, yes. But she values even more her role as a devoted wife. Please welcome sister, soon to be Dr. Jamila Muhammad. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. Assalamu alaikum. Our power in marriage begins with the power of a good choice in a mate. You may have never looked at yourself as such, sisters, but you are a part of the divine. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us that we are not the women of man, but we are the women of God. We belong to God and God alone. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. The greatest gift to any man is a virtuous woman. A man who has such is the most blessed of men because she in ensures his future. Allah gives to a worthy man a virtuous woman and his most prized possession, which is you and me. Would he want any old somebody to have his prized possession? Oh no, that must be a very carefully selected, analyzed, scrutinized choice. Are we making the best choice for ourselves? The Honorable Louis Farrakhan says, the purity of a young woman's love is so overwhelming to a man, and our enemies have made our men to become agents of them and to destroy that pure love so we get disappointed. But our happiness is in us acting out our own nature, and our own nature is to demand good treatment. Praise be to Allah. And we don't have to do anything but to insist by resisting. You know, we accept the role of girlfriend, not wife, but wifey, side chick, sex buddy. But we don't need another book written by Steve Harvey or anybody else to tell you that's not for you. <laughs> Sisters, praise me to Allah. After ease, after difficulty comes ease. Sex is ease, but first he has to go through that difficulty of the responsibility and commitment of being a husband, then he can have ease. Uh, yes, ma'am. A husband comes from the word husband man, meaning one who cultivates the rich earth, he sows or adds to it, he protects and maintains it, so there is good, sweet fruit produced from that earth. He is to bring out the best in you. The man for you has to have the mind of Christ, Christ who was and is the example of God in a man. We may not find him in his fully manifested state, but he has to be in that striving. You mothers are in the place of God until our babies know who God is. So you mother are the one to raise your boys to revere the woman so that he can have that mind of Christ, so that he can grow up to be a husband worthy of God's woman. And we raise our, <laughs> praise me to Allah, yes. 
and we raise our girls to then mind their bodies at a young age, and we prohibit them from having um, any type of, I'm just, I'm, we just protect them from any male period, okay? That means family members, everything. In the Nation of Islam, we have courtship. We don't date. We prohibit premarital sex because it interferes with the process of judgment. It's like intoxicating like a DUI. You get that green light, but it's really red telling you to stop. And in, and in courtship is the word court, a place where justice is administered. Evidence is brought to the table with the intention to marry. We don't enter courtship without that intention, meaning we're not to be with a man for years only to find out later that he never wanted to be married in the first place. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Cross-examination is a courting procedure. That's direct testimony that we have to challenge to see if the truth is being told. Witnesses are called in, family, friends, past spouses if need be, to attest to that man's character. And oh yes, there's even court fees, sister. We have to make sure that that man is able to take care of a wife financially. So, that's real. So a good marriage can and does happen, but it comes from a good courtship. So I pray that you have found value in the words that I've given, and there is a video demonstration that will illustrate the unit how to take care of husband. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. to note our last presenter, Sister Jamila, is only 28 years old. She's been married for three years. Many of the illnesses plaguing our people can be prevented, improved, and even cured through eating the right foods at the right time, prepared in the right manner. Our next presenter, is a licensed neurologist who completed medical school by the age of 26. She is now 32 years old. Her presentation will show the power to maintain the health of yourself and your family through the knowledge of how to cook. Please welcome Sister Dr. Jessica Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, we give him praise and thanks for his infinite mercy in giving us guidance through the prophets and the scriptures. We thank him for Moses and the Old Testament for Jesus and the New Testament, for Muhammad and the Quran, peace be upon these worthy servants of Almighty God. I could never thank God enough for his intervention in our affairs in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, who searched and found among us one on whom he could lay a weighty word, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, teacher of the man in our midst today and this morning, a mercy and a blessing to the human family the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. 
I want to greet all of my beloved sisters with the greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. According to the Center for Disease Control, 45.7% of black women have high blood pressure. So that's almost half. Blacks tend to develop high blood pressure at an earlier age. In 2013, 14% of U.S. high school students were obese. And the American Heart Association says blacks have nearly twice the risk of having their first stroke compared to whites. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, wait, wait. I thought, Sister Jessica, I thought you were going to talk about cooking. Well, my sisters, I'm not standing before you to reveal the secret recipe for bean pie. I'm sorry. But I am here to talk to you about the science of cooking. Cooking is the art and craft of mixing chemicals in the form of herbs and spices, meats and vegetables, in a way that scientifically restores the human body and simultaneously pleases the palate. Our open enemy has created a society that intentionally takes us out of the kitchen and away from our role as the chemist and primary doctor in our home. All praises due to our law. So we adamantly declare ourselves to be independent women, and yet we find ourselves slaves to monthly prescriptions that started with putting the skillet down and picking the fast food up. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. They say you are what you eat. One of the means by which we would be able to recognize the Messiah, according to scripture, is that he would teach the people what foods to eat and what foods to store. So there's something very powerful about food, the right food at the right time prepared the right way. As it says in the Holy Quran, and eat of that which Allah God has provided for you of what is lawful and good. As the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has taught us, the home is our base, not necessarily our place. He goes on to say, and I quote, when a woman really knows what cooking is, the science of food, then the woman who's in the kitchen, she's either your doctor or your killer. Whatever problem that you have, it can be fixed with food. Our home and our kitchen are the launching pad from which we send our children out into the world. It's the place where our families are resuscitated and healed from the abuses out there. Your food choices are either your medicine or your poison, your life or your eventual destruction. Now you've heard of omega-3 fatty acids in the media and how they're supposed to be good for you. And trans fat is supposed to be bad for you. So scientists simulated the junk food diet by taking rodents and they fed them a high sugar, high trans fat diet. And what they found was that with these experimental rodents, there was a greater challenge to their learning and they were impaired in their ability to bounce back from neuronal damage to the brain. Well, what does that have to say about that diet and its effect on us? Scientists are in the laboratory studying the impact of food, but giving us easy access to McDonald's. And do you think that the CEO of McDonald's is sitting and contemplating how he's going to help give us life and give it to us more abundantly? I would say not. And yet, we would be willing to trade the healthy development of our children and ourselves for a Happy Meal toy. Something to think about. Good health is very much a choice. And it's not a choice that should start after disease strikes. See, when we fall into bad health, we know the steps that got us there. We think about the cocaine we couldn't put down until it gives us a heart attack, or the cigarettes we couldn't let go of until the cancer, or that boyfriend we wouldn't let go of until the STD. We remember the signs we passed on our way to illness. But the same remains true with our diet when we get these diseases that are so prevalent in our community. We go to our doctors and hear them tell us we have hypertension or diabetes, and one of the first things that come up is, what are you eating? 
cut down on the sweets, lighten up on the salt, right? So as I conclude, I want to emphasize that God gave us a digestive system for the primary purpose of absorbing nutrients from our diet in order to provide energy needed for the rest of the organs in the body to function. A fuel-powered machine cannot function without fuel, and bad fuel will break down a good machine. But higher in value than any machine is the craftsmanship of God himself, the precious, magnificent, divinely crafted temple of the human body. Dear sisters, you are the doctors, you are the chemists, you are the healers in your home by God's permission. In the laboratory of your kitchen, take back the power to bring and maintain good health in your home. And now I'd like to present a short video clip that demonstrates the principle of how to cook. Thank you. presenter is an educator and serves as the Dean of Girls in Muhammad University of Islam. She is also a wife and mother who will speak on how the knowledge of properly rearing children can empower us to produce gods. As it is written in the Bible, the book of Psalms, ye are gods, children of the most high God. To present the training unit, How to Rear Their Children, please receive Sister Janice Muhammad. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I too, like those before me, bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. I greet all of you with the greeting words of peace and paradise of assalamu alaikum. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches that the universe is a womb that is pregnant and constantly bringing forth new life. This womb called universe is so mysteriously magnificent that whatever Allah God desires to bring forth, he just brings it forth out of the magnificence of the womb. So it is with our womb, which is patterned after the womb of the universe. That same force and power that brings forth life out of the universe's womb is the same force and power that is found in our wombs. God uses the womb of the female as his workshop, and it's through the sacredness of our wombs that we have the power to produce children greater than what has ever been produced before. When we are blessed with the expectation of new life, our wombs become the laboratory of God himself, and we become the co-creator, the co-producer, and the co-worker with the creator of the heavens and the earth. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. So no ma'am, sister, we are no lightweight sisters. It is through our wombs that we have the ability to bring forth kings, to bring forth rulers, to bring forth masters of every discipline, be they male or female. Praise be to Allah. And so the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan also teaches that the mind is also a womb full of ideas. When we fill our minds with the knowledge of God and seek to make our mind one with his, we are able to project that thought onto our wombs and produce the answer to the solutions of our problems. 
It is through our constant study and application of Allah God's word that we become a changed woman. Or better yet, let me say, we become his woman and the desires that he wants, excuse me, praise be to Allah, and the desires that we once had are replaced with his desires. So Allah desires a righteous kingdom. Allah desires peace on earth. He desires that we produce children in his, his image and after his likeness. Once we line our desires up with what Allah desires, it gives us the greatest opportunity to produce a righteous offspring. When we feed his desires into the womb of our brain, that womb, the brain, operates on the womb of the uterus and it produces the outcome of our very own thoughts. We are a powerful woman. And we are no different from Mary, the mother of Jesus. Praise be to Allah. We have the innate power to bring forth righteous children that will be the answers to the very problems of our world. So sisters, it only starts with a decision. And it does not matter if you're 13. It does not matter if you're 18. It does not matter if you're 21 or 39. Put it in your mind today that you are going to produce a child that will be the glory of God. Make up your mind today that you are going to clean yourself up by eating better foods because you understand that one day, one day, you are going to work in conjunction with Almighty God Allah to form brains, to form a heart, to form the very vessel where the Spirit of God can dwell. Praise be to Allah. So yes, sisters, it is a process. It is. It is. It's a process. But if we begin today to come under the submission of God, he will bless us to give birth to a God. So if you can join me as we take a look at this beautiful video that will demonstrate the power we have in rearing our children. question for you. Do you want to see God's in the making? Well, let me bring forth our junior MGT, junior MGT drill team of Muhammad University of Islam and their DI, Sister Lisa R. Muhammad. They will demonstrate both the mental and the physical discipline that is needed to make a God. Assalamu alaikum. Original salute. Ready? Front. Are you ready? Yes, Are you sure? Yes, How you feel? Fine, Ha, hut, ha, hut, 
Hawk, Pet, Hawk, Count, Cadence, Count, Cadence, Count, Cadence, Count. Can't hear you much better, a little louder. Let me hear you count it, count it, count it, count it, count it. Who soldiers are we? Who soldiers? Left flank march, left flank march, left flank march, left flank march, right flank march, right flank march, right flank march, right flank march. Original salute by your left 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 flank march. Bang God salute by your right flank march. The bang God salute by your left flank march. Bang God salute by your left flank march. Bang God salute by your left flank march. Up in the morning with the sun we rise. Up in the morning with the sun we rise. Your left flank march, right flank march. Thanking Allah for saving our life. Your right flank march. We are the best, and that's a fact. We are the best, and that's a fact. Your left flank march. We serve a mighty God who's got our back. We serve a mighty God who's got our back. Count cadence, count cadence, count cadence, count. What? Can't hear you Two. much better, yeah. a little louder. Four. Let me hear you count it. One, hit it, two, hit it, three, hit it, four. hit it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How do we move? How do we think? Again. Girls, halt. What is the purpose of Muhammad's drill? Ready, front. Junior MGT, Junior Honor Guard, fall out. Hut, hit, hut, hut, hit, hut. Are you ready? What time? Open ranks, move. By the flank march, by the flank march, by the flank march, by the flank march, double left flank march.